okay now here i have shown only the first layer and second layer particle third layer particle is difficult to show that's why you have to imagine it so in this arrangement the third layer particle is placed above the uncovered tetrahedral void and then it is found that the third layer particle and the first layer particle positions are same that's why third layer is also named as a fourth layer is similar with second layer that's why b that's why this type of arrangement is called ab ab type arrangement and uh, uh, in 3d and this arrangement is also called hexagonal close packing in 3d and here the coordination number is 12. now the third layer particle you can place above the tetrahedral void, but you can place above the octahedral void also. So when the third layer particle are placed above the octahedral void, I mean the A void. See, A void is the combination of two triangular void. First layer produce one triangular void, second layer produce another triangular void. When the third layer particle is placed above the octahedral void, this is A void. If you place like this, I mean third layer particle, this one, then the position of first layer, position of second layer, position of third layer all are different. Then the third layer we have to name this C layer. I mean first layer is considered as A, second layer is considered as B. Since the third layer position is different from A and B, that's why third layer we have to name this C layer. But interestingly when you place the fourth layer, fourth layer will be similar with the first layer. That's why again it will name this A. Similarly when you place the fifth layer it will be similar with second layer I mean B layer and that's why this type of arrangement is called ABC ABC type packing ABC ABC type packing in 3D and this type of packing is also called QB close packing in 3D in 3D. In short form, it is written as CCP. CCP means QB close packing and hexagonal close packing is represented by HCP. H hexagonal C close T for packing. So QB close packing is represented by CCP. Hexagonal close packing is represented by HCP. Here also, the coordination number of the solid is found to be 12, like hexagonal close packing. And this QB close packing is like to be face centered cubic unit cell. is also said to be the face center cubic I mean the particles you will get at the corners and the center of each faces so face center cubic and cubic close packing arrangement both are same so <clears throat> these are the type of packing in 3d you have got three types of packing in 3d when you make the 3d packing from 2d square pack layers then the packing is called simple cubic packing and when you make the 3D packing from this 2D hexagonal packing, then you will get two types of packing. One is called ABAB -AB type packing, which is also called hexagonal close packing HCP. And when the third layer is placed above the octahedral void, then you will get ABC ABC type packing, which is said to be cubic close packing or face centered uh, cubic packing in 3D. And in both HCP and CCP, the coordination number is found to be 12. In simple cubic, it was 8. But in hexagonal close packing and cubic close packing, the coordination number is found to be 12. In maximum solid, uh, produce this HCP and CCP lattice. I mean, this type of arrangement they will form because the coordination number is more. I mean, more amount of spaces you can occupy. Now, so what is the difference between HCP and CCP? I mean, hexagonal close packing and cubic close packing. The difference are. Hexagonal close packing is like to be AB AB type arrangement and cubic close packing is like to be ABC ABC type arrangement. In hexagonal close packing, third layer particles are placed above the tetrahedral void and in cubic close packing, the third layer particles are placed above the octahedral void. This is another point of differences. And uh, cubic close packing, CCP, it is like to be face centered cubic, but hexagonal close packing, it is not like to be the face centered cubic. So, these are the point of differences between the HCP packing and CCP, I mean cubic close packing.
Now, have you got what is tetrahedral void and octahedral void? Actually, voids are generated after placing the second layer. Some voids are called tetrahedral void, some voids are called octahedral void. When a triangular void is covered by one particle, then this type of voids are called tetrahedral void, and combination of two triangular voids is said to be the octahedral void. These two voids you have to study because mostly in solid, in ionic solid, for example, sodium chloride, this is one of the ionic solid. And here the particles are Na plus ion and Cl minus ion. The larger size ion adopt the arrangement and the smaller size ion occupy the voids. Means, since uh, the anions are larger than your cation, normally these are anions. These pairs are anions, they, they will make the arrangement. And since the cation, sodium ion, they are smaller in size, that's why they occupy the voids. And mainly they occupy the tetrahedral voids and octahedral voids and that is why the voids are important. So why we have to study about the voids? Because voids also contain some particles. Normally in ionic solid, the larger size ion adopt the arrangement and the smaller size ion occupy the voids. It may be tetrahedral void or it may be octahedral void and that is why the voids are important. Now, so this is about the packing. In 3D, you have got three types of packing, simple cubic packing, hexagonal close packing and uh, cubic close packing. Now, number of, number of tetrahedral and octahedral void. I mean, when you make some arrangement, suppose you have got thousands of marbles and you want to arrange the marbles. You can arrange the marbles because marbles are spherical. You can arrange the marbles in terms of HCP hexagonal close pack layers or in terms of CCP also you can arrange them. So you can arrange it by taking some marbles so when you make the arrangement, either as HCP or CCP, number of tetrahedral void, number of octahedral void you will get inside your arrangement. Whether you make tetrahedral or octahedral, uh, sorry, whether you make HCP or CCP, you will get number of tetrahedral void and octahedral void inside your arrangement. Now, how many tetrahedral void, how many octahedral void will be generated inside your arrangement? So there will be a calculation, you can find out that. If you arrange 1000 marbles, suppose you arrange 1000 marbles, then inside that arrangement, you will get thousands octahedral void and inside the arrangement, you will get 2000 octahedral, or sorry, tetrahedral voids. Have you got it, what I am saying? If you arrange n number of particles, number of octahedral void will be n, number of tetrahedral void will be double that is twice n that is the calculation so if you arrange 100 marbles you will get octahedral void 100 tetrahedral void you will get double that is 200 so that is the calculation if the arrangement if the arrangement contain n number of particle n number of particle then number of octahedral void number of octahedral void will be n and number of tetrahedral void will be twice n it is always if you arrange 100 marbles if you arrange 100 particles Number of octahedral void will be 100, number of tetrahedral void will be 200, I mean it is double. So from this calculation you can find out how many octahedral void will be present inside the lattice, how many tetrahedral void will be present inside the lattice. It depends on the total number of particles you have arranged. So how many particles you have arranged based on that you will get the number of tetrahedral void and number of octahedral void. And from this 
concept from this number of octahedral void and tetrahedral void concept you can find out the formula of a solid also if the question asks a solid is made up of two particles x and y x produce the arrangement and the y particles they are present in tetrahedral void what will be the formula of the solid you can find out the formula of the solid by taking this concept so if your arrangement contain n number of particles then number of octahedral void will be n number of tetrahedral void will be twice n so since x produce the arrangement according to question x adopt the arrangement so let the number of x particle is n and y particles are present in tetrahedral void if your x particle is n i mean if your arrangement contain n how many tetrahedral void you will get you will get twice n i mean the number of y particle you will get twice n so x is n y is twice n ultimately the ratio of x is to y n is to twice n i mean you can write 1 is to 2 that means the formula of the solid x1 y2 so like this way you can find out the formula of solid also if you know about the position i mean who will make the arrangement and uh, who will adopt the tetrahedral void based uh, or octahedral void based on that you can find out the formula of the solid thank you